Welcome to the refresher training on blood-borne pathogens for 2022. Biomedical waste is any solid or liquid waste which may present a threat of infection to humans. Please see the bulleted points for examples of biomedical waste. Biomedical waste includes used absorbent materials. They might be contaminated with any solid or liquid that may cause a threat of infection to humans. They might be visibly contaminated with blood or saturated, but dried. Biomedical waste also includes non-absorbent disposable devices. Contaminated with any solid or liquid waste that may cause a threat of infection to humans and not treated by any approved method. Body fluids include those fluids which have the potential to harbor pathogens such as HIV and hepatitis B virus. Please see below for a list of examples of body fluids. Please note that secretions shall not be considered biomedical waste unless visibly contaminated with blood. Sharps include objects capable of puncturing, lacerating, or otherwise penetrating the skin. This might be needles, scalpels, or contaminated broken glass or hard plastic. Universal precautions are procedures to prevent transmission of blood-borne pathogens when providing first aid or health care or when cleaning up bodily fluids. Always hand wash after exposure or cleanup. Use goggles, gloves, and face shields. Safely remove your gloves and place them in an approved container. We must know the proper method to remove potentially contaminated gloves. Please refer to the Safe Schools training on bloodborne pathogens for more use on proper glove use and disposal. Cleanup. Only trained custodial staff using appropriate personal protective equipment should attempt to clean up following a potential blood-borne pathogens exposure involving bodily fluids or sharps, such as needles or broken glass. Always use disinfectant and disposable equipment. Place in a sealed biomedical container. Never compress trash with hands and always treat blood and bodily fluids, even if dried, as contaminated. Report any possible exposure immediately. HBV vaccines are available and paid by the district for high-risk employees to include custodians and health assistants. Please contact the school nurse or risk management. Each school does have a written biomedical exposure plan. Please ask your health assistant about your school's bloodborne pathogens plan if you have any questions at all. Thank you.